to the gameplay thing earlier and uh we might watch a little bit of that after we're done with this but this is the official story trailer and i'm expecting things to mostly remain the same but i'm also expecting a little bit of difference because from what it looks like oh, we already know there's one difference for sure what's that um freaking what's his face Luis. yeah He's, not, he's apparently not to la not allowed to be pervy anymore in cur current culture. They've already said they're leaving out the line where he's like, ah, I see the president equipped his daughter with ballistics. And again, I, I don't know what I was going to change, but if anything, I think they're going for a more... I know that they went tongue-in-cheek with some of the humor in 4, but I think they're trying to go more serious with, uh, with this. They're really... Re you know, amping up the horror. And... Maybe, I don't know. I think that's a good thing. Because Resident Evil 4, by itself, I think if it was more scary than instead of action-oriented, I think it would have been even greater, e like, had even more praise levied onto it. That was, yeah, that was my main gripe with 4 when it came out. Like, everyone else loves 4. They're like, it's the best game in the series and stuff. And, like, me in high school... Whenever the hell that actually came out, I was just like, dude, it's, no, it's not even Resident Evil anymore. I was like, it's not scary at all. It's not survival-y very much. Well, there were some parts of 4 that were scary, but they were balanced I, out by the campiness and the tongue-in-cheek shit. I didn't find it scary, like, at all. Like, the regenerators were the closest thing to being scary, and they were more just, like, annoying and intense. Mm. Well... The Resident Evil 4 remake, we're going to check out the official story trailer, and I guess we're going to see how it looks and see if we can spot any of the changes. So, let's go ahead and get into it. I said, let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you. And uh, here we go. the way uh, Luis looks. Oh, Sadler. Your soul oh, the requires oh, you cleansing. Good. Oh. Ashley Graham, are you in here? Just let me go. Listen. You're in the president's orders. And... What is that? What do we do? The last times are escaping. We need to go. I'm gonna get you home safe. Nice. See what you they did to their outfit right too. There. Yeah. That whole achievement's gone, yeah. I guess. Who are you? What are you doing here? What are you staring My at? Show in the Ashley, run! Ooh, Ooh, nice. With his oh, what's happening to me? It's unknown. <laughs> now, abandon your body. Leave the girl. She's lost no matter what. Now that he has chosen death. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh. Damn. That looks really, really good. It does. It looks amazingly good. I 
I just wish you could have adult oriented jokes in an adult oriented game. Like I think it's I think, clearly a game made for older people. I don't understand why you can't make some like risque jokes in it. You know what I mean? Well, I would say one thing that goes with it is also, you know, the tongue in cheek stuff, the humor in that. I would prefer just regular dry humor, you know, not humor that's gonna make you just go <laughs> or make you just go, Oh, I see what they did there. Versus, you know, just humor that in passing, just, you know, I, I would like that. Did you see that? It's fake. Uh, yeah. Don't. <clears throat> Again, it's here. the clickbait shit. Uh, yeah, the gameplay footage, uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and show that. Show that as well. It's basically the first level. Yeah, I think the lighting and atmosphere will at least help it oh. be a little creepier. Oh, come on. Come on, GameStop. What's with this jank-ass, like, shitty-looking... Damn it. Okay. Really? They're capping it at 360 at... That's just... Ugh. Okay, here we go. This is... I think this is the one me and Drew watched earlier. How far could he have gone? Yeah. <laughs> Anyone home? This beats the hell out of the encounter in the first or in the first encounter in uh, the original four. Oh, <laughs> this atmosphere that they build is just fucking stupendous. I love this. Yeah. Look at that. Oh. I like how they made shit a lot creepier. This uh, reminds me of eight. the beginning of 8 where you're like going through the village and like seeing all the fucked up stuff that's been done. Yeah. I read you. What's your situation? Dead. The situation is fucked. Oh gosh. What was that? <laughs> I love the updated uh, thing that they've done on the on the health and everything. No fucking way. Oh, with the head. I like the fact that he feels more zombie like there. He seems much more zombie like than the Lost Plagas originally did. I wonder if they're going to go with more variants for, like, you know, you're going to have the ones that are the slow and sluggish zombie ones, you know, where they're just, like, just mindlessly roaming. And then you're going to have the more intelligent ones that are just, that can actually coordinate and shit. Yeah. I, I just think it would be better if more of the original enemies weren't, like, just yelling Spanish phrases at you the whole time, you know? Like, in clear voices. Like, at least if they're going to yell at you, like, distort their voices or something. Make them sound fucked up in some way. Well, they did with some of them. Like, some of them would just, like, were, like, 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 well, yeah, but, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Also, I wonder if, uh, yeah, the knife mechanics from, uh, from Resident Evil 2, you know, that's something that Bruce, this is Gondor 1. Hunnigan here, what's your secret? It looks like your knife is kind of like the, uh... It's likely oh, she's in village. The knives with health. Our intel is oh, correct, yeah. then. Well done. Oh, yeah. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are... He had the option to use his knife to break out of the hold earlier, but he didn't. I'm assuming because it would have broken it instantly. Yeah. 
<laughs> uh, the old window dive. I remember half that happening. I remember the first time I did that, I, was, I freaked out. I was like, oh shit, no! Oh, oh, I'm okay. Nice, you can still kick. Oh, yeah. Cow. Not the cow. Kill me for the oh, race. nice. We can actually set the cow on fire and have a flaming cow run into them. <laughs> I ran into that same bitch outside that same window in the original I, game. I remember that, <laughs> oh, Every time. It kind of looks like it's a mostly one-for-one one remake. But with a lot more horror. Like, it, like this, this seems a lot more chaotic and a lot more... It's still very action-y, but at least it's intense, you know. Ooh. Oh, the the yeah, intensity so the has been wrapped up. Yeah, I figured it would. Oh yeah, Texas Chainsaw Massacre stuff. Great, yeah. Oh, that's cool. You can knife them while they're on the ground. Whoa! Damn. That's awesome that if you have a knife, you can actually survive getting decapitated one time. Yeah, that's dear God. That is hell yeah. Awesome. I. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I still don't think it's going to be as scary as like Resident Evil 2, but I think it looks a lot better than the original I think for sure. The intensity will be rant, will be the same, but in terms of the overall horror, I think it depends on how they It's at least going to be creepier in places, I think. Which I which I'm all for. They're going more for atmosphere in between the big encounters. Yes. Which is basically what 8 did, you know. 8 had some big encounters at times with like a lot of atmosphere in between. Yeah. Gosh. What a great time to be a horror fan. Yeah. Because Silent Hill 2 remake is happening and it's looking promising. There's a lot of good stuff coming out like right now too. Oh yeah. Well you, you're you playing a game right now. Oh you saw what I did to the thumbnail for Konosuba? Yeah. I could not help myself. It was It was too great of an opportunity to not pass up. Oh damn it. I hit the wrong thing. Damn it. Stupid thing. Um, but I just saw I saw the opportunity and I leapt at it. I just I couldn't help myself. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> nothing but yeah, nothing but demonetization symbols. Uh Konosuba, everybody. Also, damn, this is about to pass a thousand likes, and that's uh, the Hell of a Boss episode that we just watched. Yeah. I, it's getting a lot of likes really fast. It, every time we do one, an episode of one of those, it always gets a shit ton of res, a shit ton of responses. Yep. Uh, anyway, so that was the Resident Evil 4 remake uh, official, story tra official story trailer. Hope that y'all enjoyed. And we hope that... Uh, this game will be just as good, if not better, than the original, and I guess we'll have to see how it plays out. But for right now, thanks for tuning in, everybody. I'm Nate. I am Nick. We'll see you later, everybody. Peace.